Well, hi there. This is Scott Duffy of softwarearchitect.ca. In today's quick start video, we're going to go and create ourselves a MongoDB database using the Microsoft Azure Cosmos DB service. Now, in case you're not aware, Cosmos DB is a relatively new service within Microsoft Azure that contains many different types of data models. It is actually a globally distributed multi-model database service. What that means is that you can create very quickly and actually cheaply your data in the cloud in many different regions of the world. It is uh, scalable, it is guaranteed low latency, and you can choose from the key value model or document DB model or graph API model or column family model. It's got a whole range of consistency models for you to choose from. Microsoft offers comprehensive service level agreements so that you'll know exactly how much uptime the application has and how, how quickly you expect the application to respond. It is a database for the modern way of developing apps, it contains many different languages that it can connect to. So in this video, we're gonna go into the Azure portal and we're gonna create ourselves a MongoDB database. So I'm in the Azure portal, that is portal.azure.com, and I want to create a Cosmos DB. So I go into the create a resource and you'll see the all the options. Now the Cosmos DB is actually right off of the getting started tab, so you can see it right off this first screen. But if I really wanted to get MongoDB, I could do a search for it. Now I'll be given options for running MongoDB as a hosted instance within a virtual machine. Their Bitnami has some images. There's also containers if you like the Docker model, but what we're looking for, Microsoft has the database as a service for MongoDB. Now this is actually Cosmos DB. They've just given it another label so that it comes up on a search for MongoDB. I'm gonna close out of this, go back to the marketplace getting started tab and go into the Cosmos DB from there. Now we have to give it a name. It has to be unique, globally unique. You see the full, for, uh, fully qualified domain name is .documents.azure.com. So I've pre-chosen a unique ID here and uh, it's unique across all of Azure. The first big question is the API. Now Azure, uh, Cosmos DB comes with a number of API compatibilities to access the data inside. And the one that we're curious about is MongoDB. Okay, so you can access things like a table, which is a key value pair, the famous uh, NoSQL database Cassandra. There's also a SQL compatible API that returns JSON and graph API. But what we want to do is go to MongoDB. We've got our subscription. Now you could have the free account or you could be on a, a free trial or MSDN subscription. This is my own subscription. I'm going to put these into a resource group. I'll use the same ID as the Cosmos DB. Create the pick one of the regions. Now I believe Cosmos DB is supported through all of Microsoft's regions. So you'll see a lot of options from Europe, North America, South America, Australia, etc. I'll just choose the default. Geo redundancy. This allows my uh, data to be created within West US and East US, and I can add other regions later. So this is so that if there's a disaster, it adds to the availability of your solution. Now, the new a security feature here is to configure virtual networks. And if you do this, this allows you to restrict access. So instead of your Cosmos DB having a public URL, you still need, of course, security to access it but if you just wanted to block off access to it, you could uh, configure this as a, to a virtual network and only, only other machines on the virtual network on the subnet can use the Cosmos DB. So if you have an application on Azure and you want to create a Cosmos DB only for that application, you can enable this, but I will, I will leave it disabled. Pin to dashboard and I'll click create. Now that did take a few minutes, but Microsoft Azure did come back and create me a new Cosmos DB account. You can see here that I selected geo redundancy. So I have the primary database in the Western US, but there is a readable location in the Eastern US. And I can get the connection strings and start using it as a MongoDB 
database. This is, again, an alternative to hosting MongoDB yourself in your own data center. You can use Cosmos DB using a MongoDB API. If I go under the Quick Start tab of the settings, it actually gives me some sample code. I can pull in the connection string into .NET, or if I am a Python developer or Node.js, etc., there's other ways of getting it. It gives me my uh, user ID and password for the connection string. So using Azure for your MongoDB needs is as quick and easy as this video.